Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason. I'm your watch guy today. We all love watches and that's why we're probably here. That's why we've built this type of community around these little things that we wear on our wrist. These amazing pieces that hold sentiment, they hold passion and they hold absolute just enjoyment for us all. But what is it that transformed these huge pocket watches into little things that we wear on our wrist nowadays. Well, in World War I, it was very difficult for a soldier to be flicking out his pocket watch from his pocket, so he'd have to stop everything he was doing to, uh, to read the time. So, soldiers started building trench watches, little lugs welded to either side and strapped to the wrist to make it much more easy for them to just take a quick glance and move on. It was a much more functional way to tell the time. And it's what's brought us to this point where we wear these on a daily occasion, where we pick our favorite one to start the day with, or we have them for special occasions, or we have a collection of watches that we can pick from in the morning. It all started with that little bit of functionality. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a watch that celebrates that exact journey. This is Vario's 1918 Trench Watch. And I was really excited when I started seeing the renderings and the drawings of this watch on Facebook. And I asked Vario if they would be so kind to send one in for me to review. And they said, yeah, I waited a good long while for this watch. I think it took like three months to ship from somewhere in Scandinavia. I don't know why it took that long, but I waited pretty impatiently for this watch and I'm just really glad that it's finally here. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's turn this camera around and let's get into this review. This is the Vario in question. As I say, I was made up to pick this one up or to receive this one in the post. Uh, it's not staying, it's not a watch to keep. It is going back or going on to a new reviewer after I'm done with it, but it was nice to spend the time that I have with it. It arrived in this really nice little travel case very functional. I think that's a really good standard of casing and I think it's a functional thing to send the watch in. That That's the thing that I really do appreciate lately, a functional casing for a watch, you know, leather watch rolls, stuff like that, really does help. Uh, they also sent it on this really nice blue bund strap. However, I am not a fan of bund straps, so I haven't really worn it on that, but I will give you a idea of how it looks later on in the review. Now this is a smaller watch, but that's a little bit more accurate to the style of the, the watch that they're trying to achieve. So this is due to be delivered in June. They are at the moment priced at £226. Uh, that will go up to 267 I believe. Really lovely watch for that type of money. Under the £300 mark, I think this is definitely a winner if this is the type of style that you're after. I think it's hard to find at that type of price. And I think they've nailed the design of it. Now it is packed with a Myota movement. It is unfortunately an 8000 series, but it's not the 8215. It is the 82S5. And it's also a hacking movement that they fitted with it. Now that is an improvement on the 8215. As you can see there, hacking movement, only one position hand winding also which is an improvement i'll just show you the uh the movements in the back there very nice gilt movement uh, they can't guarantee they will they will all be packed with gilt movements but they'll try their best to do so so let's talk about the diameters of this watch it is a smaller watch it's 37 millimeters in diameter so if you're looking for a bigger watch this one isn't for you but if you're looking for this type of style i think you will be happy with a 37 mil watch uh, it is 12 millimeters in thickness. Lug to lug, it comes in at 44.6 millimeters from this wire lug to this one. And these are 18.3 millimeter fittings on this one, which is a really weird sort of fitting, but I think it's just enough to give an 18 mil strap or an 18 mil NATO enough movement, enough room to be inserted easily enough. Now this casing is built in 316L stainless steel. It's a very good quality of finishing on this. We have some 
lineal brushing on the uh, on the side of the casing, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. We do have a high polish top just here around the bezel of the watch. Down here between the four and the five o'clock, we have the screw down onion style crown. Big fan of this style of crown. I think it's very vintage in feel and it, it really does complete the look of certain watches. Down here at the uh, four o'clock between the four and five, slightly between the four and five, I think it is an unusual place to put the crown, but it keeps the diameter of this watch down. So it all fits within the right diameter. You know, it doesn't make it any chunkier or any larger on wrist, and it does complete that small trench look. Now, as we move to the back of the case, and I'll just remove this strap so you can see it properly. You can see we have a display, a case back, and we have some information around the, the casing itself. It is also brushed. It's a screw down display case back. We have automatic over here, Sapphire and Singapore. That is where Vario are from Singapore. Up here is a really interesting one, 11-11-1918. That's obviously when the war ended. Remembrance day for a lot of us here in the UK is the 11th of November. As we move to the crystal on this one, it is a slightly domed sapphire crystal, very well fitted to this casing. Now, the thing that I really like about this casing is this bulge type of feel to it, this bowl sort of effect to the sides. It really does give a nice elegant feel to the watch. It gives it a really good look on wrist also. They've really designed this casing very well and it does have a really nice feature to the wrist when you've got it on. Now, one feature that I have missed here is these lugs. These are wire lugs. This is what you would have expected on an actual trench watch. I'll take this NATO off. Very nice design. It, it's very fitting to the era and what this watch is trying to achieve. Obviously, it's not going to be to everyone's taste because you can't fit this with a strap that you may want. It does have to be a single pass strap or one of these hook straps that Vario have supplied. I'll pop it onto this one for a second. This strap is actually really unusual. It's actually got screws in. So you unscrew it, hook it back around the watch and screw the piece back together. I mean, strange, but at the same time, it's a little bit of quality that I think. That's how I personally feel. It's a little bit of quality. Now, personally, I'd probably wear it like this with the two straps either side. I think that'll bring down the lug size however i do understand that a lot of people would like to wear a bun strap because it does complete the look a little bit more so this is the trench on a bund strap this is the one of the options that you have when you buy this watch there's plenty of options actually and obviously vario also supply a lot of brilliant options when it comes to straps also i've had a few of them in previously and i really do enjoy them I've, I've still got one of them on my long jeans actually it's so nice on wrist so if you want to give this watch a lot of different looks you don't have to look far from the website that you order from now as we move into this dial it is a feature on its own it is an enamel dial which again gives a really nice effect to the watch a very authentic effect i feel it does reflect the light very nicely. You can tell that it's in an enamel dial. Now, this is a really nice look, this grey one. They do offer in different colours. My personal favourite is this one here, as I believe that it's very authentic to the trench style watch with that red 12 o'clock index. I think that that really is the option that I would personally go for if I was going to get one of these. Now, as you can see, we have very vintage style or even cathedral-esque sort of numerals on this watch at each hour marking they are in white and i believe they are also loomed with c3 loom i will show you that loom shot shortly we have a train track style minute track around the outer edge printed in black up at the 12 o'clock we have the vario logo down at the six o'clock we actually have a sub dial that is indented into the dial itself so there's a layer below the actual dial which is again a nice effect to dial it gives it another dimension that is the second hand taken away there as you can see 
with this not being a high beat movement, they've sort of hidden that with a small second hand. You can't really tell as much. It does give her a nice uh, sweep. The second track is in another train track type of style, which is really nice and really fit into the, the style of watch that this is. And we have a black hand taking around with numerals at the 10 second intervals. Now, as we move on to this handset, it's a very nice cathedral style handset. We have some bold outlines on it, bold black outlines on this cathedral handset. It really does make it stand apart from the dial itself. Really lovely effect. And again, C3 loom on this one. In fact, let me get to this loom shot so we can see what we're working with. As you can see already, we have a very nice loom signature on this one. Let's get this black light out and see what else we can pick up here. I'm really glad that they loomed the hour markers also, instead of just doing half a job and doing the handset. I think it gives it another dimension. Obviously, we probably wouldn't have had this type of effect back in 1918, 1914, during the war, but this is a modern flair on this one really good loom very impressed with it very happy with it uh, it's very well spread also which is something that adds some quality to the watch you can see that they've done a good application of the loom so let's talk about the strap obviously there's plenty of options you can pick up completely different options to what are available on the Vario website also the ones that are selected with it are bun straps like this one and other colors that you can pick up and you can also pick up a single pass nato personally i'd probably go with the single pass nato just because i don't wear bun straps however this is a really good look i think i think this does complete the look if you're used to this type of style i think it'd work for you personally not for me but very nice quality to it let me swap to the nato again and show you how that is on wrist this is the single pass NATO on wrist and this is what I've been wearing the watch on for the last week or two. I think it's it's my favourite option and it's that comfortable that honestly I think I'm going to pick one up myself. I think that would look good on a couple of my watches personally. So yeah, very well done by, by Vario and it's good that they've given an option because it doesn't eliminate more of the market. You know, obviously not everyone's going to feel a bun strap so giving an option really does bring in a little bit more inclusivity to the market now you can probably tell that i have definitely enjoyed having this watch in i've watched it from the renderings the drawings all the way up to well it being here but it doesn't mean that i don't have some moans about it so let's talk about those quickly and it is going to be quick because there's only a couple so the lugs are going to be a moan or a gripe for a couple of people. Personally, I think that they made the right choice because it does suit the aesthetic of the watch. It does make her a true trench watch. However, people like to put their own straps on things and they like to have more options to straps. Also, it eliminates a lot of strap options and adds a little bit to the actual size of the watch. So off wrist, it's going to be much chunkier. 13.5 millimeters. It adds 1.5 millimeters to wrist. And to a lot of people, that brings it into a different type of category. So that is one thing to be aware of. It is a smaller watch. Not everyone is going to be happy with a smaller watch. 37 millimeters is below a lot of people's wearability. Personally, it's very comfortable for me. And I have a very wide spread wearability and this falls very comfortably to my wrist i think it wears very well it won't do for everyone now aside from all that the movement choice i understand why they've gone for the myota 8 series and i know that they've not just used a standard 8215 they've used a variant with a hacking capability very nice guilt effect etc etc however the rotor noise is still there and that's the thing that gets to me. Uh, that single winding rotor, it's just, it grinds on me. So not my favourite movement of choice, but I do understand why they've used that. Aside from that, I think it's a really brilliant way to celebrate how we evolved these pieces to become a part of our everyday life. How we 
turn them into a fashion item into something that completes a look or completes how we feel that day something that we pass down into families something that encapsulates a person or a person's life i just think it's a beautiful celebration of all of that and i think they've done a really good job so guys that is my review of the vario 1918 trench watch another thing to mention is that they do offer this in a different type of style in a medic style so it has a little of a uh, variant around the outer edge of the dial and I believe they're slightly bigger. So if this is a little bit too small for you, maybe that's another option for you. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous watches and that white dial with the red numeral at the 12 o'clock, I think that is an absolute winner. Very authentic look to it, very authentic feel and I think Vario are going to sell plenty of these. I don't think they're going to have any sort of issue getting these moved along. They are still in the pre-order stage, I believe. Uh, as I said earlier in the video, £226. And for that type of price, I think you've really got a winner on your hands here. If you are interested in this watch at all, please check the link in the description. Uh, that'll take you to their website and navigate from there. They also do a massive range of straps that are actually really good quality and very affordable. So that's a good option for people also. Thank you for watching this guys, please remember to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.